Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna jump right into this hair tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I fix orange knots on my wig. So I bleached my knots on my wig because with black wigs, you usually have to bleach your knots if you want it to look natural when you're wearing it. And I over bleached it. It looks orange, it looks brassy, and I am not here for that. So I'm gonna show you guys how I fix this from start to finish. So if you guys wanna learn how to do this, then please keep on watching. The wig I'm wearing in today's video is from Diva's Wig all the hair info will be listed in the description box down below so this is how the wig looks when it's out of the box it's a pre-plucked hairline HE lace the knots are black because this is a black wig I bleached the knots off camera I didn't do it on camera because I have very detailed videos on how I do that and guys I messed the knots up on this frontal and it's giving bright orange and it's looking really brassy I left the bleach on for a little too long and to fix this problem, usually I would use purple shampoo, but I find that it doesn't really work that well, especially when it's like overly bleached like this. So we're going to have to go in with some other products to fix this issue. I'm going to take the Wella Color Charm T14 toner and I'm using some Salon Care developer. Oops, I just spilled that, but I'm using a level 20 developer and I'm just mixing it together. You really don't need to use the entire bottle because you're really just using this to fix the frontal. I kind of use the entire bottle. But anyways, I'm going to apply this all over the frontal. So all over where you see the lace. Try not to get it on the hairline of the lace because this can actually stain your actual lace. You don't want to stain the lace. So this is going to help to tone out the orange, get rid of the brassiness. You guys, whenever you use purple shampoo on its own, I find that it doesn't really do a lot to fix the knot. So I'm trying this method out and hoping that it works. So I left it on for about 15 minutes. No, I'm lying. 10 minutes and then I wash it off camera and then I'm going to go in with some purple shampoo. So I'm applying my purple shampoo all over my frontal and I'm going to leave this on my frontal for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, I think it was just 5 minutes. Yeah, 5 minutes. <laughs> so this is the finished look. The frontal is looking really, really good. The knots are not looking as brassy as before. I'm going to go in with my hot comb and I parted a center part into this wig. I want to take a good look at the roots. So as for the knots, I like how the knots look, but I actually got that bleach onto the actual hair. So I have to fix that. I'm going to go in with the Magic Savish uh, pen. This I got on Amazon. This is actually my first time using it in this video. I filmed this video about two weeks ago. I love, love, love this product. Like, where have you been my whole entire life? Because whenever I do this to my wig, whenever I over bleach the knots, I usually go in with black hair dye and fix it. And there's nothing wrong with using black hair dye to fix it. It's just that that's way too much work. I don't want to do all that. I don't want to use a dye and then wash it out, then blow dry and strain the wig again. But guys, this is how it's looking. I fixed the orange issue. Now we're going to move on to application. You can use a wig cap or you can use the stocking method. Stocking ball cap method is amazing because the stocking is super, super thin, but I'm out of stocking. So I'm just going to use a regular old wig cap. When it comes to wig application, I always use a wig cap. It does protect your edges. So I always wear my wig cap. And I'm gonna go ahead and pierce a hole through my wig cap, pull my air out, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Someone asked me, uh, how do I do that? So I made sure I put the step in this video. I feel like I have shown this before, but maybe I haven't, I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with the Bold Hold Liquid Gold. I love this product for my wig application. This is a glueless product, and I love it for applying my wig cap. I used to use a Got To Be Free Spray before, but I find that this product works so much better and it's made for wigs. Now I cut the extra cap off and once I cut it off, I'm gonna go in with some foundation because I'm wearing makeup and I also wanna make sure that the hairline of my wig matches my skin as well. So that's why I do that. I don't apply the foundation all over the lace on the wig because if I were to do that, it's gonna make my scalp look really orange. So I just apply it right by the hairline so it matches my skin. So now I'm gonna apply the wig onto my head and voila, there she is. She's looking good. Guys, I hate applying my wig when I have makeup on. Like, why did I do this? So I'm actually gonna have to end up removing some of the makeup off my forehead area because applying your makeup first before applying your wig is just, it's just a no for me. Anyways, I'm gonna cut off that extra lace because I don't need it. And 
this is my least favorite part of wig application is cutting off that lace keep in mind after you cut the lace off on your wig you're never gonna have to do this again so yes it might seem like it's a lot of work but you have to cut the lace off if you want to wear the wig honey you gotta do that so I just wipe my forehead I wipe the makeup off and I'm gonna go in with some lace glue so I apply the lace glue on my forehead area you guys have seen me doing this before this is nothing new you can use a liquid gold as well to do this just keep in mind that you're not going to get a long wear out of your wig and then once the glue is dry I'm going to pull that lace down you guys see me doing this before and we're just gonna melt it down so I'm gonna cut away that extra piece of lace before I glue down any other side I cut small sections because I just find that it's a lot easier for me to apply and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing at the sides as well apply the glue and then you can use a rat tail comb I'm using my edge brush but it doesn't really matter <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull that lace down, grab my rat tail comb, and just melt in that lace, melt that wig down. And you guys, like I mentioned before, if you are not, if you don't wanna use glue, you can use something like the liquid gold, which is not a glue, and that will give you maybe a day wear out of your wig. However, I only wear my wigs for probably a day or two. I usually take them off after I'm done filming sometimes too, so it just depends. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more glue right at the edge and I'm gonna cut off that extra piece that you see because I want the wig to match my actual hairline and that was way too much hair going down on my forehead area. I don't have too much forehead space so if you have a bit more you can pull down your lace wig a little bit lower. Now, like I mentioned before at the start of the video, this is a pre-made wig. Most pre-made wigs, they start at 21.5 circumference. My head size is around 21. So this wig is a little bit bigger than my head. I think this might be a 22. So I was kind of having a hard time with it, um, especially at the sides because it went down really low because the wig is a little bit big for my head. I know I look completely different. So guys, what happened was I was filming this video and then I stopped filming because I got busy. I was doing mommy stuff and I was just like, you know what? I'll finish the video tomorrow. So I actually slept in the wig. Now I'm going to tweeze up this hairline and customize it so it look more realistic in the front and melt it down. Now I already went ahead and tweeze this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side on camera. First things first, you are going to need a tweezer, preferably get a good one because you need a good one for this. And my hot comb is hot and ready. So the one thing I do not like about this wig is I love the fact that it's a 13 by six and it has a lot of parting room. However, it doesn't have a lot of parting room at the side. Like you can't really do much here. It's not like super versatile. Don't really like that because if you guys know me, I love wearing a side part. I'm just gonna customize this and then we are going to style the wig up and I'm gonna put my makeup on. This part of the video, I'm gonna be talking through it. So I'm just gonna go in with a tweezer and just tweeze away because I want that hairline to look a little bit more realistic on the side. I think they did a pretty good job with this wig. Um, it doesn't require a lot of tweezing. The knots on it are super small, which is a good thing. So when I bleached them, they weren't like very big knots, especially the ones at the front. Oh, okay, you see that? She is looking good. I like starting behind the hairline, that way I don't create any ball spots. Just be careful when you're doing this, not to go too crazy and go in the same spots over and over because let's say if I was going the same spot over and over, that is how you would create a ball spot. You don't want that. But I'm pretty much happy with how this is looking right now. I'm not really happy with how the front of the hairline is looking. I could leave it like this, but I want a more natural looking hairline. So I kind of want to create that on my wigs. To do that, I have to go in like this. So I'm going to part the hair like this and so I'm taking out like two pieces of hair. And be very careful when you do this because you don't want to over tweeze like I was saying. Hairline. This makes the wig look a little bit more on the natural side, I find. And we are back in voiceover mode. Okay, so hairline is completed, I like it. Let's move on to flatten this wig down. I'm gonna go in with some hair wax and I apply the hair wax to my wig and I'm gonna go in with a hot comb and flatten it down. Honey, if you want that wig to look flat, you need to do this. I'm gonna be honest with you, it was really hard to get this wig to be super flat because like I said, this wig is a little too big for my head. 
it's not customized it's pre-made so it was a little too big for my head and it was just a little bumpy on the head but I'm gonna make it work I'm gonna make it work so now I'm gonna go ahead and try and create a proper center part and flatten that down with my hot comb the hot comb that I use it's from Andes and it's one of my absolute favorites I got it on Amazon I will link it down below you guys are always asking me about it and I'm just gonna go back in again with the tweezer just to fix the hairline up just a little bit even though I said I was completed but the perfectionist in me was like I gotta fix this I gotta fix this so you can see the lace at the hairline it has not been melted yet so yeah we still gotta melt this down I know this center part looks crazy I know it does but honestly I'm just one of those people who struggle when they're doing their center part especially on camera so I'm gonna have to do this off camera so just ignore that now we're gonna melt down this lace now I don't want a ton of baby hairs you guys know I don't care for them so I'm actually going to tweeze the front of these hair up especially don't like baby hairs in the front i hate that look on myself i don't like it um i don't mind a little on the sides but not in the front i'm gonna go in with some hair mousse and i'm just gonna apply a bit of that to my edge brush and brush the hair so basically this is how i melt down my lace i usually just use a little bit of hair mousse i don't use a ton i've mentioned this before and then i'm gonna tie my wig down i'm using an elastic band you can use a hair scarf as well so i'm gonna leave this on you can leave this on for about like five ten minutes and your hair will be melted i'm gonna leave it on for a minute for a while because i'm gonna go step off camera right now do my makeup and i will be right back okay i'm not really sure what happened to my camera setting but anyways let's move on makeup is done i'm going in with my scissors right now and i'm going to cut the hair on an angle so cutting the little baby hairs and i'm going to go in with this conier flat iron i love this flat iron love it i got it at walmart it's perfect if you love doing baby hairs you guys i'm not going to get into the whole baby hair thing anyways i take out a little bit and i'm going to go in with some hair wax and i'm just going to create a little swoop i feel like this is even a little bit too much for me i might even tone it down but you know just a little swoop and doing the same thing on the other side as well whenever i have heat anywhere close to my face i always look so serious because i truly try not to get burned over here anyways this is pretty much the completed tutorial i hope this video was helpful if you've made this mistake before where you got your knots on your wig super super orange i hope this technique helped you and yeah if it did please let me know i will see you guys in another video very very soon i'm probably going to be coming with some colorful wigs soon you know summer's coming and honey i'm tired of wearing dark hair so yeah i'll see you guys in another video soon love you bye